Don't accidentally cut through the 275. Okay, back to the braiding. I won't get so frustrated by missing something. Normally I tuck these up with my fingertips as I go. It's one reason I use this hand shape, but I'm apparently distracted and probably shouldn't even be braiding right now. I should probably call it a day. It's probably nine something at night. Braided till 2.15 in the morning or something the first night. Anyway, I will say once in a while when there is somebody interested in whips that comes over and I'm sitting and breeding with them, it's kind of enjoyable to have somebody else to talk to. I usually do this in dead silence, whether I'm shooting video or not, because there's something soothing about the paracord rubbing and getting seated. Once in a while you can hear a difference as you're breathing. And I cut these strands probably a little longer than they needed to be. Three times as long as just a fairly safe. It's more like 1.3 times as long on each side is what you actually need. But you can't cut something longer. And you have to have enough to wrap around your hand to tighten it. And depending on what angle you want to finish at, and a few other things. I'm going to have about a foot long pieces when I'm done with this. It's very useful for a few things, but... You can see the pronounced drop off. There's three strands of slinker cord underneath, at the very least. And that's before the bolster actually starts right there and spirals up. And then spirals up the other side.
these strands to walk around behind, you want them to lay flat so you're going over the top of all of them. I also don't want whatever sticky amount is on my fingers to end up on all these strands. So, fortunately, most of the sticky stays on the other part. If you're ever disheartened, just laugh at me and my having done braid stuff <laughs> while I'm shooting video. I'll be darned if I'm going to back it up and not show all the process. Fun to watch it crunch down as you seat the strands home. I used to plate these super tightly. And now I pull it tight and plate it sort of on the loose side. Plating it tightly had some advantages in that you never get those little bubbles where something doesn't doesn't work and usually the strands pop back into place but when you have a thin double-sided adhesive in there it's pretty much the same adhesive they use for sticking the glass to cell phones or the LCD screen to the frame of the laptop. Anyway, I have now run out of time, so I've now got people coming, so I'm going to have to stop this process. Thank you again. This is Chuck with Pocket Snakes.